viewers to my CK3 guide on how to grant land efficiently without having to worry about rebellions that you instantly just have to revoke the titles away again and you know, that can cause a lot of frustration for newer players especially. So what I like to do, and in this save I've actually I've activated debug mode and I've just revoked all of the titles in France and I will actually add a comparison to the normal France but here's what I like to do I'm just going to grant a random person this province and I'm going to make him the duke of that local duchy and I'm just going to give him everything inside of it this makes them really like you as you can see that's plus 300 opinion I don't even need to give him the duchy title, he would still absolutely love me. Right now it's kind of low because I have too many duchies, but we'll solve that issue pretty quickly here. And I just keep going through here and I'm just going to grant to local noble, give them the provinces. And whenever you want to grant out a title, if you hold control on the duchy, it'll give all of the counties underneath it. And the same works for kingdoms. So we're just going to keep going through. Right click. And then just grant titles. As you can see this doesn't take long at all. I highly recommend this. Especially if you just don't want to worry about it. Now. Something in CK3 and a lot of other Paradox Grand Strategy games, there are a lot of ways to do the same thing. This isn't the only way to have a stable realm with decently strong vassals that don't hate you. But it is what I would consider to be the most effective. And sometimes, you know, you just don't have the ability to make sure that vassals only rule land in their duchy. You know, sometimes they take land outside the duchy, and then sometimes they dislike you, and sometimes things are just out of your control. And also, uh, sometimes you do just end up having to fight a faction, like, sometimes it's unavoidable. Uh, I don't remember what duchy this is a part of, so... Alright, it's part of Aquitaine. Usually I remember what counties belong in which duchies, especially in Europe. I mean, I've been playing this game a long time, so a lot of it is just... At some point I just, I remember things. Something to note here, this guy would not make a very good vassal. You can see he's impatient, minus 5 opinion of liege, he's ambitious minus 15 opinion of liege. He's sadistic, so he's more likely to use murder schemes. But I don't think it'll be a problem, because even now he's already got plus 34 opinion of me, and I'm still holding way too many duchies. And I didn't even give him that much land. Now, as a king or emperor, you can only hold two duchies before you start to get problems with opinion. Also, if you have vassals inside duchy titles you are holding, which I guess I can go ahead and show that right here, you can see this person, minus 25 opinion because I'm holding the duchy that they are a part of. So you don't really want vassals in the duchies that you plan on holding. So, if I was to play this game here, I would want to hold the Duchy of Valois because that's where Paris is, and I would want to hold the Duchy with Rome because that's where Rome is. Those are both really powerful duchies. Honestly, as long as you control a complete duchy, you're going to be really powerful. Now something to note here, 
I actually uh, forgot to do this, but let me go ahead and just uh, change this real quick. If I just take his domain again, you can actually see that this county, the capital is a temple holding. Oh, and I need to increase the control again, so let me go ahead and just do that. So the county capital is a temple holding. What I like to do is just move the county capital over to a castle so that the county becomes feudal. And if I unpause for a bit, the court chaplain that I have will end up taking this province. Yep, just like that. And then I can regrant this. Uh, feudal rulers that follow a religion with uh, theocratic um, priests, I guess that's what you would say, theocratic priests, they get penalties for holding temples because technically a feudal ruler cannot hold temples. Now if you have lay clergy, which is something that I do recommend getting at some point, you can just create a custom faith or you can uh, convert to other faiths that have it. Usually though, holding temples personally is really powerful because they give more taxes than castles, but also they do have a downside of giving less levies. But let's face it, levies aren't that good. Especially if you start off with enough money to just create powerful men at arms at the start of the game. Levies really just aren't that useful. Alright, so we're almost done here. Alright, so that's the last duchy. And now if we just go through, you'll notice a lot of these people, they have no heirs. I'm not sure if that's because of my game rules or if that's honestly normal. If we just look here... So we have, I have generate families off. Usually I play with AI only. I don't know if that actually makes a difference here. It probably does. But it basically just means that I'm going to in re-inherit a lot of these duchies when the ruler dies, unless they just happen to get an heir. Which, it, it's not the biggest deal here. I will end up inheriting like all the money they have and stuff. So that is actually kind of a big deal. Though at the same time, maybe not. I'm not sure. If you did find this helpful, uh, a like and subscribe would be appreciated. Now I'm going to go ahead and compare this. We have 4,400 levies. Oh, I should probably unpause just to make sure it updates. Alright, so once this stops going up, I'll just go ahead and pause it again. Alright, so about 11.3 taxes from vassals, as well as 6,200, 6,300 levies. Now if I just go... New game, 867, same guy. So it was about 6,300 levies before, about 11.3 taxes from vassals before. And let's just see how much that changes here. So right away we're getting 8.8 .8 vassals, vassal taxes, that's about 3.5 less. And then less levies, but again, levies aren't that helpful. If we just unpause, maybe that'll update a little bit. No, that looks accurate. So as you can see, it's already more taxes and levies from the same amount of land, just by granting the land differently. Um, also, this realm is kind of messy. The other one is clean borders and such. Also, something to note is that these vassals hate this king. 
Whereas in my other save, of course, I just granted them all that land, so every single one of those vassals has plus 100 opinion of me. Which is another reason why that's just so effective, is you're not going to get rebels. At least not easily. Especially on lower crown authorities. Sometimes vassals do rebel even with plus 100 opinion if you have a high crown authority. That's not the end of the world at that point usually. Now if you would like me to continue from this save, uh, let me know in the comments. I will disable debug mode and I can just play from here until we get the first succession. And then we'll just see, I can prove to you that this is a stable realm even on succession. Because even though a lot of these opinion modifiers are temporary, like this is going to last for a long, long time. I think that's 50 years. I think it does decrease over time, if I'm remembering correctly. So it's not going to be like plus 60, plus 320 until that year it's going to decrease as time goes on. However, on succession, vassals gain an opinion of predecessor modifier. So if they had plus 100 opinion of you when you died, your heir is going to get plus 50 opinion. However, the, the opposite is also true. If they had negative 100 opinion when you died, they're going to have negative 50 opinion. So like I said, if you would like me to continue this without debug mode enabled, I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. Also, if you want to see a different guide on like any of these game mechanics, I'm quite familiar with I mean, 99% of this game because I've just played this game a little bit too much to be honest. Uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments there too. I had videos, so maybe that'll be my next video. So I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day. Like and subscribe, of course.